All right, we got ourselves a Skipper Canteen ADR, kind of last minute, but we wanted to try out a bunch of the 50th things, uh, particularly the Veranda Spicy Chili Shrimp sounded very good. The uh, They have like a pina colada that sounds good too. It's not alcoholic, but it's a Dole Whip blended with a pineapple mix. And then, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else we get. Might try like one of the, um, the vegan options, but Skipper Canteen. So this is our first time ever eating in this room and our Skipper was incredible. He was talking about, hey, let me show you uh, some of the highlights of the room. Here's some. <laughs> I'm glad you guys got that joke. Usually it goes over people's heads. And it's his favorite because it's so illuminating. <laughs> and I got to show you some portraits in the front. I never noticed that there's an Albert Falls and a Alberta Falls portrait in uh, like the waiting room. But I'll, I'll, there's a joke for that too. So we are scooping up this uh, veranda fried rice, which is spicy chili garlic shrimp over pork fried rice with egg and peas. We're gonna get this Falls Family Falafel with chickpeas, garlic, onion, lemon, juice, herbs over edamame, hummus, and toasted pumpkin seeds. And then a little bit later on, we're gonna grab a kungaloosh, which is that delicious African chocolate cake with caramelized bananas, cashew, caramel ice cream. One of the girls got the safari snack, which is basically cucumbers, carrots, and a little dippy. And then we want to try this Adventureland Kulata, which is Dole Whip blended with coconut cream and passion fruit. Okay, so I just totally stumbled on this hidden secret, but on the right-hand corner in the barrel is backside of water. <laughs> So that is the safari snack, carrots, cucumbers, and that. Hey, don't do take a video. <laughs> and then here's the family falls falafel, which looks really good. I haven't had them in a long time, but I really like them. And then that is that 50th anniversary Miranda shrimp with that spicy chili shrimp. So thoughts, the falafel were very crisp on the exterior and then really smooth on the inside. I've always loved them and that that hummus, that edamame hummus is really, really nice and tasty. And uh, I also like that it has slices of radishes as well. And um, <laughs> I also uh, enjoyed the veranda pork fried rice. I thought that was really really good 15 bucks I wish you know what it came with a lot of shrimp there's probably six to eight shrimp on there that were pretty big size like medium-sized shrimp uh, not very chili spicy but like more of like kind of like a glazed season it's like almost sugary right it's just okay yeah yeah well, I'm glad we got to try them uh, the falafel were excellent so and this place is just so much fun. So, Veranda Rice, I don't know, I'm gonna give that middle of the road 2.6. And then the falafel, I don't know if I've ever reviewed the falafel, but they're, they're easily in the, uh, the 3.6. You thought it was a grown-up <laughs> Yeah, everyone seems very excited. Yes, no, this is not a grown-up drink. This is non-alcoholic. It is pineapple Dole Whip blended with passion fruit syrup and coconut cream. It's called the Adventureland Colada. Looks delicious. I bet that would be spectacular with rum, though. And this is that Kungaloosh, which is uh, caramelized bananas and cashew ice cream over that delicious chocolate cake. I've had that before. It's insanely good. So, I don't know uh, what I rated the Kungaloosh, but whatever I rated it, if it wasn't insanely in the 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, I gave it way too low a score. That is one of the best desserts on the planet. That fudgy brownie, the ice cream with caramel and cashew, and then the uh, caramelized bananas, it's perfect. And then the uh, Adventureland Kubata, just a tad too sweet because of the passion fruit syrup, um, but the coconut cream is really, really nice and kind of balances it out a little bit. But I don't know, 
I don't know, I wouldn't rate it as high. I, I like pog juice with my um, with my Dole Whips now. And I like that coconut Dole Whip more than I like pineapple Dole Whip. But I also am a bigger citrus roll fan than I am of a regular Dole Whip. Blue. So, I'm gonna go 3.3. I think that's good. I love this place, what a great restaurant. And I, I did notice that they had the Jingle Cruise decorations up here on the top. We need more overlays here in Disney World. I'm so glad we got that one though. <laughs> I just heard one of the skippers say, <laughs> somebody said, hey, how's it going so far? And he goes, so far he's so good. <laughs> so there is homeboy Mr. Albert Falls, of course, with his namesake Schweitzer Falls. And then you got Alberta Falls, which the joke was, I heard she's pretty two-faced. But he's been missing for 13 years, and Alberta takes over the company. So we figured we would go and check out Tom Sawyer Island. We haven't done that in forever. One of the, <laughs> it's just so much fun to walk around and check everything out. I mean, I love the caverns and caves, the crystal section. We'll go check out a bunch of that fun stuff. Uh, at some point, I would love for this restaurant to be open, this little quick service they have over here. That's only on the most crowded, crowded days. So coming out of that dock, I was looking at our Hidden Mickey book, and there is one. Do you see where this diagonal post is dead in front of us? It's gonna be kind of hard to see because I can't zoom in any further, but right there in the center, Hidden Mickey. It's a strange thing that's happening. Ooh. It is dark in here. Apparently there's a hidden goofy on one of the gems. Wait, oh man, this thing slants down. Be careful, girls. I don't want you to fall in the mine. Evie? Oh my Yeah, I'm gonna like fall over here. <laughs> Yeah, this is a kooky mine. <laughs> Whoa, it is, yeah, it is kooky in here. All right, we gotta look for a gemstone somewhere. Oh, there he is. There's a goofy. Right there. He looks like a what? More of a Donald? This is just such a nice view and reprieve from the hustle and bustle of Magic Kingdom. You don't even feel like you're in Magic Kingdom when you're on here. So if, if like crowds freak you out, it's a really crowded, busy day, come over to Tom Sawyer. It's just such a nice, relaxing way to enjoy the Magic Kingdom. I know, I know, rides are important, I get it, but it's just a cool, different way to see the parks. So here in the fort, there's actually a cool hidden Mickey she found in the book. It's right here in the center, upside down. <laughs> Old school animatronics. <laughs> it feels so nice and cold in here too. <laughs> oh, that's a skull. Ooh, Engine Joe mine. You found a secret passage? Man, there's like passages everywhere. It's so dark in here too. I love this. Tom Sawyer is so much fun. I think it's... Isn't there a... Uh, I feel like there's crystals up here too. Or am I wrong? Like a geyser. I don't think it just exits. Oh, this is cool. Little bridge. Are they turning around? They just, they hang there. Chip and Dale! I like them in their little howdy costumes. <laughs> we'll probably get to get, see a good picture of them when we get on the raft. <gasps> and curious. 
Too. I never thought to watch him over here. There's like nobody here. <laughs> <laughs>